in 2020, a pandemic happened due to coronavirus disease 2019. As a result, one of the institutions impacted by the ECG regulations was schools. Stay-at-home directives eventually emerged in sudden shift and flexible learning. Thus, this hindered personal interaction between the clinical instructor and the learner. Good day, College of Nursing community, viewers, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dafo May Pregua and together with me are my group mates, Veronica Victoria Perez, Zara Veronica Perez, Chesme Kilia, and Bea Patrice Santizo. We are the Group 4B of BSN 3D from the University of St. LaSalle College of Nursing. And today, we will be discussing our research study entitled, Lived Experiences of LaSallean Clinical Instructors Towards Flexible Learning. For the purpose of the study, the study was conducted to explore the lived experiences of LaSallean clinical instructors towards flexible learning. The researchers further explored the challenges, strengths, coping strategies, and how these professionals fulfill their roles concerning nursing education. By analyzing the experiences, solutions can be provided to further enhance the teaching process towards flexible learning. The data gathered may benefit the university administrators, clinical instructors, nursing students, and future researchers. It may be utilized by nursing instructors to adapt to this new mode of teaching and design innovative ways for more effective clinical teaching. As for the research design, the study utilized phenomenological descriptive approach. This term is used to describe the way in which people see a specific phenomenon. Inquiries such as, what does this study really mean to you and what are your lived experiences are examples of the types of questions that a researcher might ask. It helped the researchers in presenting a straightforward and realistic narrative of the clinical instructor's experiences to the audience. It allows for establishing the study participants' own beliefs and perceptions concerning the subject matter under consideration. As for the participants, participants were chosen using purposive something to cater the purpose of the study. If less talent clinical instructors, one from level 1, two from level 2, and five from level 3. The following criteria apply first. Clinical instructor must be teaching either lecture, skills laboratory, or related learning experience in the University of St. Lasalle Bacolod. Second, the clinical instructor must be teaching flexible learning for at least five months in academic years, 2020, 2021, 2021, 2022. Third, clinical instructor can be either teaching part-time or full-time. Fourth, the clinical instructor must be employed before the pandemic lockdown and was assigned teaching loads during the onset of flexible learning. Due to availability and requirement of inclusion and exclusion criteria for choosing participants, there were no participants from level four. For the research instrument, the data were gathered through conducting an in-depth interview with reference to an interview guide. The content of the interview guide is divided into two parts. The first part comprised the LaSalle and clinical instructors profiles such as age, sex, location, types of devices utilized during flexible learning, connectivity level, and years of teaching during flexible learning. The second part comprised the LaSalle and clinical instructors lived experiences with flexible learning. For instance, challenges encountered, competencies, perspectives, mental well-being, stress management, and coping mechanisms or adaptations. For the results in discussion, the first theme is overcoming hurdles towards flexible learning. This theme is centered on the participants' view on their own experiences, and the result of the analysis revealed the following categories of hurdles towards flexible learning. In this study, participants had to adjust to new teaching methods such as synchronous and asynchronous instructions like viewing video platforms, live chat in Zoom or Google Meet, and downloadable pre-recorded discussions as well as PowerPoint presentations with or without voiceover. Teaching using new technology demands a number of skills that most educators are unfamiliar with. Another typical issue for clinical instructor is trying to implement technology is a lack of information or a general understanding of how to use the newly introduced application called Learning Management System or LMS. Clinical instructors express their doubts as to whether or not this new style will be acknowledged by students and the observation that student participation is minimal. Also, students engage in different approaches. Engagement to be the same or for each student, it takes time to develop new systems, especially when they involve technology. When you are still establishing how the current system works, it's difficult to measure involvement. 
educators and students in a virtual classroom would also need important e-learning technologies that need constant power to keep them functioning and avoid difficulties that could hinder students' learning. Most of them stated that the loss of electricity can be detrimental, even if it only lasts for a short period of time. It is impossible to integrate educational technology in a school when there aren't enough computers, a fast internet connection, and an interruption of loss of power. The second theme is integrating coping strategies toward changes in nursing education. These team revealed statements from participants discussing numerous coping strategies as supported by Roy Adaptation Model. In this study, based on some participants' experiences, the school provided training for clinical instructors to adapt well. Moreover, learning the instructional mode through one-on-one -on -one sessions is more favorable from a colleague or technologically competent family member. The help and teamwork of clinical instructors towards each other promote low-demanding responsibilities. The clinical instructors cope by engaging in activities that improve their performance, such as learning how to ask questions, updating their digital knowledge and understanding, talking to students about concerns, and engaging in recreational activities that will alleviate stress and help them solve problems in flexible learning. As a clinical instructor, adapting to flexible learning while having the ability to use instructional methods, skills, and heart in teaching enables the successful delivery of instruction. Although they only had a limited amount of time, clinical instructors went to great lengths to learn flexible learning. The third theme is finding the silver lining amid learning transition. From this theme, the participants expressed that despite many unfavorable perceptions surrounding flexible learning, good ones have emerged. For some, flexible learning allowed for far more flexibility and convenience than traditional learning as it offered clinical instructors the convenience of not waking up early to prepare for class and even eliminated the costs associated with transportation and going to school. Others stated that online learning will become the new standard as a result of the present pandemic crisis and the advent of internet and technology. Clinical instructors stated that in the years to come, Flexible learning will likely remain as it prepares student nurses to be globally competent individuals. Skill acquisition was another perceived benefit because it has allowed clinical instructors to harness the essential knowledge and skills in order to become technologically competent. Participants stated that as they adapt an increasingly diverse mode of teaching, they were able to acquire a new set of skills like creating modules, making lessons, and navigating through educational applications. In conclusion, COVID-19 has given rise to numerous complex changes to the work of clinical instructors in both academic and clinical. Clinical instructors acknowledge their unique experiences during the COVID-19 pandemic, and this would include the hurdles towards flexible learning that have been subjected to a one-of-a-kind situation, coping strategies towards changes in nursing education that being utilized to organize activities that develops the strength, and addresses the weakness of clinical instructors, and lastly, silver lining amid learning transition or the positive aspect of flexible learning. Thus, they were able to grasp the necessary knowledge and skills to become technologically proficient because of flexible learning. The researcher recommended to have organized one-on-one -on -one training for Lasallian clinical instructors in order to update technical skills with the delivery of flexible learning through technology and assess each Lasallian clinical instructor's knowledge and skills to enhance successful delivery and equitable task distribution. Also, engaging activities that produce a favorable influence on health and effective instructional delivery in order to cope effectively and focus on making use of online learning platforms or tools that will foster lively student interaction collaborate with the guidance and counseling unit of the university to establish stress management programs and offers basic mental health and psychological development services. And lastly, undergo preventive care, as some participants' responses indicated that flexible learning caused health problems and formation center that aims to help students and faculty development and participate in the formation of society's efficacy.